Hey everybody, today it is a beautiful spring day and I am going to show you how to make a beautiful spring wreath for your front door. Okay, so what you're going to need for this wreath is a wire wreath frame, some pretty greenery that you want to use, and some pretty ribbon. Um, the first thing that I did was I took my floral wire and I cut it um, in inch pieces and then two inch pieces, and you'll, I'll probably need more as the project goes on, but I put it on a plate because I don't want to lose track of my wire. If you're like me and you have kids and animals running around your house, the last thing you want is a piece of wire stuck on the floor. Okay, so the first thing you do is you're going to want to take a piece of your greenery and you want to start on the outer rim of the wreath. So I say this is one, two, three, four. And what you want to do is start and attach your greenery around the entire first level. And then you go and do the second, third, and then on to the fourth. And what that creates is it makes it so all the greenery is going in the same direction and it looks a lot more clean than if you just did it randomly. So I should say sorry about my band-aid. Um, I got in a fight with a wire cutter. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, take your greenery and a wire and you're simply just going to attach it to the wire frame. And I just spin my wire around and then tuck it back under. So you're gonna to wanna to attach it there. And it's good to use these cross members when you can because it helps keep it more stable as well. And then simply, I'm gonna do one kind of in the middle, not quite on the end, just so that this piece, since it's shorter, it's gonna keep that shape of the wire frame. So. Basically, that's what you do. I left this part off because when you take, take your second piece, I'm gonna match both ends together. And then I will wire that on. And then I'll come again and go about midway. And you just keep doing that until you make it your, your way all the way back to where you started. Okay, so I've completed the first circle, as you can see, and now I'm just going to start on the second. One thing to keep in mind is as you're placing these, you can see where there are gaps, and so just be mindful when you're putting the second layer on to fill those gaps when you, where you can. So now that I have all of the greenery on the wreath, it is time to add the pretty ribbon. And what I like to do is I will go in and fill in where I see little gaps with ribbon because it just adds a nice different texture and a different feature. And this is how I do it and I want to show you so you guys can save on ribbon because ribbon can be expensive. Okay, so what you want to do with the ribbon is you're going to take it and make a little loop like this and then simply just cut that part off. And then I have cut wire anywhere from like three to four inches long. And what you wanna do is just take it and wrap it around the base of the loop. And what I'll do is I'll do it really tight there and then spin it a couple of times. And then I'll divide the wire again and bring it around to the other side and spin it a few more times just to make sure that the wire is on the um, ribbon tight enough. And then what you do is you open up the wire and you're gonna wanna attach it to the wire frame and then you kind of fluff out the ribbon when you're done. So I'm gonna just attach it onto the wire frame. Make sure you twist the end of the wire the floral wire to the wire frame so that it doesn't blow off in the wind. Um, and then I wrap it around again, like we talked about, so that it doesn't scratch the door. And then you take it and fluff it out. So you just wanna do that. You could do one long piece of ribbon, but I feel like that wastes the ribbon and you don't see parts of it. So either way, um, but I'm gonna go through and just fill in where I think 
there needs to be ribbon. Okay, so now I have all of my little ribbons placed in where I want them. What I want to do now is do a big ribbon here at the base. I kind of gauge how much I'm going to need by <laughs> doing this very precise technique. <laughs> but then I will just cut the ribbon, and don't worry, we'll make the ends look pretty. And then I find roughly the middle, and I stick my wire there. it around so that um, they're facing on the outside so that I can ma manipulate them easier if I need to. And then I simply take it and tie a bow. And then I'll go in and make it pretty afterwards. Um, I, it is a little easier if you attach it to the wreath first, but um, for the sake of showing you, I don't want to do that. So you basically just tie a bow, still the wires in the center there so you can see it. And then you want to round it out a bit. And I'm using um, wire ribbon so that it stays where I want it to and I can manipulate it easier. Sometimes I'll use a different type of ribbon that doesn't have wire just because I want it to lay a certain way, kind of more natural. Um, just kind of whatever you prefer. So I make a relatively simple bow. And then with the, wa the floral wire at the base there of the bow, I will take it and attach it to that top rim of the wire frame. And then just like we have, you wanna make sure that you're twisting the wire really good so that it stays in place. And then because this one is so long, um, I'm gonna just take it and loop it through that second wire rim just so that it has more stability. Maybe I am, let's see. The other reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to, if I ever need to change the bow out, I want to be able to see where the wire is. So, okay, see I've attached it there, and then now I'm just looping it through, and then I'm gonna just simply connect it like that. Okay, so, then you've gotta come back to the top, and you wanna just make sure, um, sometimes what I've done is I will wire the legs of the bow, like I'll do a little wire there and a little wire there. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this though. Again, you wanna just fluff it, and then this is what I do to the ends. I kinda of want this to be longer, I think that's pretty. So I will take the ribbon end and fold it over like that so it looks like a nice, pretty finished end. Oh, a little bit more. So you do a triangle, right? And then you fold it over one more time, and then that will help secure. So. It's like the end of a ribbon, right? And then what I do is I cut this part. And then I take the wire and I press it onto the end there so that it stays in place. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the wire will poke out a bit. And so you can take it and just round it and then it stays in place. Oh, you have to get the wire though. So that way you have this nice pretty finish to the ribbon and it will last through the weather too, which is good. So again, you just make your triangle, fold it over. This one I anticipated the weight. See how there's that wire? You just take it and pinch it into the other side. this one over and take that wire and just sit it through. See, that one's not quite as pretty, but it's more secure, so. 
Okay, and that right there is how you make this beautiful springtime wreath. I hope you guys try it out. Let me know what you think.